let's go back to the phone lines. Talk to Nicole in Colorado Springs, Colorado, listening on the web. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Hank. Thank you so much for taking my call. Pleasure. Um, so I've been doing some research on head covering in the church, um, specifically 1 Corinthians 11 and Paul's meaning um, when he said that a woman should have her head, head covered. Um, I've read a book um, that seems to indicate that this um, was a mandate that's meant for today, and I also read a research letter that was sent to me by CRI. Um, now, the specific question that I have is, um, it, it just seems to me that a lot of the objections was based on the fact that this was more of a principle for that specific church in that specific time. Um, but my question is, if that is the case, then why did the early church fathers adopt head covering for women, and it was continued over the next several centuries only to be abandoned <clears throat> within the last 60 years? Um, was this uh, just a passing fashion akin to women wearing gloves in public, um, or is there something much deeper that we're missing? Well, I think you've hit the nail on the head. I think you're absolutely right. I think there is something much deeper that we're missing. I think there's a sense in which you can say that the principle behind the custom of a woman having her head covered is absolute. The custom itself is not. But I think if we want to go back to what I was talking about with respect to the earlier caller, or just the last caller, is we in the church don't want to be innovative. What we want to do is perpetuate the faith once for all delivered to the saints. And I think you're absolutely right. Since the time of the apostles and, and the very early church, Orthodox women and girls have veiled their heads during worship. And that is both during the liturgy at church and during, at one time at least, this was the way it was, during personal prayer at home. And this was as a result of what the church fathers were teaching with respect to the Word of God, or the Word of God being interpreted by the Holy Father. So you have St. John Chrysostom, for example. Uh, we, we use his liturgy in our worship. Um, who said that the angels are present, and thus we hear the apostolic teaching from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, which bids women to cover their heads. Now, in, 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 in our fellowship, I see women oftentimes not during the entirety of the liturgy, but uh, during the actual partaking of the Eucharist, putting on a head covering. So remembering this ancient, uh, this ancient tradition or the apostolic, um, the, the, the Holy Father, Father's uh, interpreting the Word of God or the apostolic teaching. Wow, thank you so much for your answer. I, I don't... Um, I'm a Protestant, and I wasn't really taught to um, really understand tradition or what the Church Fathers have um, said, but just in doing my research about head covering and also about the end times, I'm realizing how important it is to see what the Church traditions have been over the last 2,000 years, and so um, when I came upon this issue, I was a little confused, but your answer makes so much sense. Um, so would you say that it would be okay if I covered at church, um, just if I felt like that was something the Holy Spirit was telling me to do? Absolutely. In fact, I'd recommend it. Oh, thank you so much, Hank. <laughs> you got it. Thank you for your call.